I have here the iPhone, I mean the Techno Spark 20 and the Redmi 13C. Both are budget smartphones with similar specs, but which one is the right one for you? Let's find out. Starting with the price, the Redmi 13C is more affordable. I got the 8GB RAM, 256GB internal storage option for 121,100 Naira, $100 or 8,324 rupees, while the Techno Spark 20 with the same specs goes for 142,500 Naira, $118 or 9,823 rupees. There's a difference of 21,400 Naira, $18 or 1,498 rupees. With the Techno Spark 20, you get a TPU case, earphones, a USB Type-C cable and an 18 watts fast charger. Moving over to the Redmi 13C, all you get is a USB Type-C cable and a 10 watts charger. Now the Redmi 13C is capable of charging at 18 watts, but you will need to get an 18 watts charger to enjoy faster charging speed. Using the chargers that both smartphones come with in the box, it took the Techno Spark 20 2 hours 7 minutes to charge from 0 to 100%, while the Redmi 13C took 2 hours 44 minutes to complete its charge. That's a difference of 37 minutes. For the design, some people might like or not like the looks of the Techno Spark 20. Holding both smartphones, you're going to notice that the Techno Spark 20 is slightly smaller and lighter. Moving to the build quality, both have a plastic rear and plastic frame. The Redmi 13C has cunning Gorilla Glass protection at the front, making the glass resistant to drops and scratches to a degree. The Techno Spark 20, not to be outdone, fires back with ingress protection. It's an IP53 dust and splash resistant smartphone, which means it can withstand water splashes. The two smartphones have dual SIM cards and a memory card slot. This Redmi 13 device doesn't have an IR blaster. Moving to the speaker, the Techno Spark 20 has dual stereo speakers and comparing the sound quality with the mono speaker on the Redmi 13C, the Techno Spark 20 sounds better. And you can feel the speakers vibrate the rear of the smartphone, it's a nice feeling. The fingerprint scanner is located on the side of both smartphones and the unlocking speed is the same. The face unlock feature is also present and they are both fast. Moving to the display department, the two smartphones have a 720p IPS LCD panel with a refresh rate of 90Hz. The Redmi 13C display is bigger at 6.74 inches. Now some of you might not like the notch on the Redmi 13C and prefer the hole punch on the Techno Spark 20, but I don't mind it at all. The hole punch on the Techno Spark 20 is dynamic. It expands when you receive a phone call, charge it, or unlock the smartphone with your face. Now moving back to the display, as for the quality, they are about the same. For brightness, the Redmi 13C is brighter, but you're going to struggle to use both smartphones under direct sunlight. For the performance, the MediaTek Helio G85 chipset powers them. Running the Antutu benchmark, the Redmi 13 has the higher number, but it's close. For Geekbench, the Redmi 13C has a slightly better single core score and the Techno Spark 20 has the higher multi-core score. Now, since they have the same processor, you should get the same performance from both smartphones, but when it comes to rendering videos, that's not the case. Using VN, I rendered the same video on both smartphones and surprisingly, the Techno Spark 20 was faster. Now, maybe it's an optimization issue, so I used Google Photos, applied a filter on the same video, saved it, and again, the Techno Spark 20 finished first. Now remember, both smartphones have 8GB of RAM and can be expanded to 16GB of RAM. With the RAM expanded to their maximum, I notice multitasking is better on the Techno Spark 20. After opening multiple applications and games, the Techno Spark 20 was able to retain more apps without refreshing. Bluetooth is present on the two smartphones. For those that don't know, Bluetooth are pre-installed apps that come with the phone that you may or may not need. On the Techno Spark 20, I counted 14 of them, while on the Redmi 13C, I counted 16 of them. For the Android operating system, they are running Android 13. The Redmi 13C should get Android 14. Same with the Techno Spark 20. And that's because Techno has improved when it comes to sending out updates for their recent smartphones. Now, when it comes to gaming, you're going to get the same experience. For PUBG, they run the game at the same graphic settings. The game was a bit choppy on both of them when you set it to HD graphics and high frame rate. I would recommend you select smooth graphics and ultra frame rate for a smoother gaming experience. Call of Duty Mobile ran well on the two smartphones. 
they run the game at medium graphics and high frame rates. After playing different games on both smartphones, I will go for the TechnoSpark 20 because of the dual serial speakers. Now it isn't like the mono speaker on the Redmi 13C is bad because it isn't, it's just that sometimes I find myself blocking the mono speaker when playing games. Moving to the camera department, the TechnoSpark 20 comes with a 32 megapixel front facing camera, while the Redmi 13C has an 8 megapixel front camera. For indoor shots with decent light, both smartphones capture all right pictures, but when you zoom in, the pictures captured by the TechnoSpark 20 is a bit sharper and shows more details. For pictures where the camera will need to enable HDR, the TechnoSpark 20 also does a better job. As you can see, my face and the background is properly exposed. Going outside now, this is where things become subjective. Even though the TechnoSpark 20 looks a bit sharper and brighter, I like the skin tone produced by the Redmi 13C. It captures how my skin looks. Also, it shows the real color of my hoodie. For portrait shots, the TechnoSpark 20 photos look better. It looks brighter and a little bit sharper. Alright, battle of the front facing camera. Now the TechnoSpark 20 comes with a 32 megapixel front facing shooter, while the Redmi 13C comes with an 8 megapixel front facing camera. I know, 8 megapixel. But is the 32 megapixel front facing camera on the TechnoSpark 20 way better than the 8 megapixel on the Redmi 13C? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, the TechnoSpark 20 has a wider field of vision while the uh, Titan C, the Redmi Titan C, is a little bit cropped in, but which one has the best video quality? Let me know in the comment section below. So yeah, time to go outside and see how both of them perform outdoors. All right, so we're outside. Which smartphone has the better front-facing camera when recording? Is it the TechnoSpark 20 with a 32 megapixel front-facing camera or the Redmi Titan C with its 8 megapixel front-facing camera? You decide. Moving to the rear cameras, both smartphones come with a 50 megapixel main shooter. The Redmi 13C comes with a 2 megapixel macro camera and another camera that you can't use to snap pictures. As for the TechnoSpark 20, it too has a camera that you can't use to snap pictures. At first glance, the pictures captured by both smartphones look identical. The Redmi 13C pictures look a bit darker while the TechnoSpark 20 looks brighter. It's a preference thing and I reckon a lot of people prefer brighter pictures. Night photos are clearly better on the TechnoSpark 20, it shows more details and less noise as you can see here. Portrait pictures using the rear camera looks better on the TechnoSpark 20 because it handles HDR better. The brightness of the building behind me is just right. So right now we're using the rear camera on both smartphones, 50 megapixel on the TechnoSpark 20 and 50 megapixel on the Redmi 13C. The Techno can shoot in 2K 30fps while the Redmi 13C can only shoot in 1080p 30fps. So which one looks good, which one sounds better? Let me know in the comment section below. Now, these are budget smartphones and they don't have image stabilization. So, if you run, this is the kind of footage you should expect. For the battery, they both come with a 5000 milliampere cell and I got similar screen on time on both smartphones. So, there's no clear winner here. And for the charging time, as I mentioned earlier, the TechnoSpark 20 is faster with its 18 watts fast charger. The Redmi 13C is capable of charging at 18 watts, but Xiaomi included a 10 watts charger in the box. So, you need to go out of your way to buy an 18 watts fast charger if you want faster charging speed. Now, after comparing these two smartphones, the TechnoSpark 20 is the better device. It costs more than the Redmi 13C but you get more accessories. You get a smartphone with dual stereo speakers and slightly better cameras. The only issue I have with the TechnoSpark 20 is the design. It looks like an iPhone and some people might not like that. So we've come to the end of this comparison. If you found it to be useful, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and I'm going to see you guys very soon with more comparisons like this. Valor Reviews, signing out.